Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is going to be my fall haul. I have decor, I have some household goods, I have cleaning supplies and candles, and it's just going to be a huge, like, fall home, home type of stuff, sort of haul. Um, and I'm gonna actually start off with decor. Sorry if there's like a shadow on my face. It's like really dark in this room. It's only eight in the morning, but it's like super dark outside. So first off, the first thing I have gotten are some pillow covers. I'm just gonna put some pictures up here, um, but I got some like buffalo check pillow covers. Um, I guess it's called buffalo check. I've always just called it plaid, but I got some orange um, buffalo check pillow covers. We recently got a new couch and those pillows were a lot bigger than our other throw pillows so I needed to get some bigger size pillow covers and then I don't know what happened to all our fall pillow covers from last year but we're missing like half of them I don't know if they got ruined by the end of the year or what happened I don't remember throwing any away but we're really missing like four or five pillow covers so I also just ordered this set off of Amazon um, it's a lot more yellow than the rest of our pillow covers which I'm gonna be doing a decor tour probably my next video will be our fall decor tour um, so you'll see how it all looks together but they're super super cute so those are the only things I don't have with me but let's see I'm gonna start off with stuff from Walmart so first thing I got is this little flower display with like a metal pumpkin this was $14.84 look how cute this is and I actually remember seeing this at Walmart last year and I didn't pick it up and so I was super happy to see it again this year it's so gorgeous I just am such a sucker for orange and yellow fall foliage and sunflowers and it's just too too cute so I had to grab it and then also from Walmart my son was with me when we were shopping and he wanted some of these little pumpkins so I told him he could pick up one for himself and one for each of his sisters and so these are only 98 cents each so these are the three he picked up we've got this little speckled one this orange one with some green lines and then this one which is orange and yellow and green so I think I might since I said that they're for the kids I might like paint their initials or something on them on them um just to make it so it's like their very own little pumpkin and then I also got this sign which says happy fall y'all it was three dollars and 74 cents and then it has a leaf a pumpkin and an acorn and I just thought this was really cute I love how each letter in the word fall is like a different color that's super cute and I also love how each word is like a different font I think that is super cute as well and then the last decor item from Walmart is just this little guy it was two dollars and 98 cents and it's just a little flower arrangement and like this tin it's not actually is it actually tin I can't tell if it's tin or like a hard plastic but it looks tin um and I just thought this would look really cute on like our counter space it has some flowers some foliage it's a little more muted compared to the colors of this pumpkin um this one has more like I guess like natural um more like true to nature colors um but it's super cute so I think I'm gonna put this on my counter space somewhere and then from Hobby Lobby I also got this little guy um I shared this in my shop with me it was $2.99 plus 40% off and he's just on a little stand he's also gonna go on my counter space somewhere I just think he's so adorable and we don't have any scarecrows in the house so I thought this would be um just really cute on our counter space somewhere and then from Marshall's I picked this up it's a little hand towel with donuts. Are these not the cutest thing? It has some like fall donuts and also some Halloween donuts. These are really thick and good quality. This was $6.99. Um, but I just thought that was so cute. And I think the kids are going to especially love this because it's more like Halloween um, than fall themed. And also it's donuts. Like what kid, do, what kid doesn't love donuts? So I think the kids are going to love that. And then this is something um, else from Hobby Lobby. I should have showed this before, but I saw Denise Medina haul this um, on her channel. I'll link her video down below, but it's just this sign that says a whole latte love and pumpkin spice. And it kind of has that chalkboard look to it. This was $13.99 plus whatever 40% off is of that. 
and I just think this is so cute. It's got like a tin frame to it and a chalkboard look and I love pumpkin spice and lattes and I just thought this was too cute. Um, I pretty much went to Hobby Lobby just to look for this and this was the only one I could find so we lucked out with this one but um, there's that. And then for Michaels, these are for the kids, but I picked up two of these guys. Um, they are these light up like wooden pumpkins. They were they were on sale for three dollars originally, five dollars. I thought these would be fun for the kids to paint, and then we can put them somewhere um, or hang them somewhere because they have like little hooks up here at the top. Um, so I thought that would be fun, and they do light up. They have switches on the back. So um, I also picked those up. And I think that is it for decor. So now I'm going to move on to some more of the home stuff. So first thing is this waffle iron that I got off of Amazon. I literally ordered this August 10th and it did not come in until September 4th. So it took almost an entire month to come in. I don't know why. I don't recommend ordering it on Amazon because it's going to take forever to come in. Um, I do know that Kohl's has this exact same one because I saw on Sadie XO's channel um, she did like a uh, vlog where she was shopping at Kohl's and they had a ton of these at Kohl's so I would recommend getting it from there um, but let me open this up because I haven't even opened it up yet but it is this little tiny baby waffle iron is this not the cutest thing and then when you open it up one side is going to have a pumpkin print and one side is going to have a normal waffle print. I just thought that was going to be so perfect for fall. They're really small waffles. They're going to be like Eggo sized waffles. Um, I just thought that would be so perfect for the kids, especially for like breakfast on Thanksgiving. This would be perfect for like a Thanksgiving breakfast. And so um, I picked this up. It does feel like really flimsy. I think it was only like $13. Um, I think at Kohl's it's $15, but honestly, I would spend the extra $2 at Kohl's to not have to wait a month for it to come in. Um, but it was just a cute little waffle iron for the season. And then I also got my very first Ray Dunn mug. If you saw my shop with me, you already saw this, but it says fall, y'all. It is one of their travel mugs. It's stainless steel, 24 hours cold, and 12 hours hot. And I've been wanting to try Ray Dunn for a while. I think it's really cute. I'm, I don't have the room in my house to be a collector but I thought it would be just nice to have one little mug from them because um, I do think it's really cute I think the handwriting and the simplicity of it is really cute which is kind of surprising for me because usually I like lots of color and stuff and then this is another one I picked up from Hobby Lobby it says I love fall most of all and I just love the bright orange of the mug and it's like speckled I don't know how well you can see but it's got some like speckles on it so so cute and then I placed let's see if I can get this in here I placed a huge order on Grove Collaborative for the Miss Myers fall stuff so let's go ahead and get into it first two things I actually have are two hand soaps that are not fall themed um, but they are new they're like part of the body collection so you can get them in hand soaps and lotion and stuff um, but it's the let's see this is the oat blossom scent I'm gonna smell this one. Ooh, that's really pretty it has like a, just a very like subtle floral scent. It's not too strong. And then this one is the plum berry scent. Ooh, and that one is very sweet. It has a very sweet like fruity plum scent to it. So I got these um, two hand soaps to try out those scents. And then I also got, I have a... Um, like glass refillable soap dispenser um, from Grove. I actually got it for free. And so they came out with an autumn fig scent for their gel hand soap. So I just got this big thing to fill up my um, glass hand soap jar and the autumn fig scent. I'm gonna smell this one real quick. Oh, I don't love that. I don't know what that's smells like it doesn't really it smells like something I've used before I'm not super obsessed with this smell actually but um, I got it so we're gonna use it 
So those are the hand soaps I got, and now moving on to the cleaning sprays. So I pretty much got two of all the fall scents. So let's see, I got two of Mum, and Mum was a scent that they did have last year. So I got two of these guys, and then I got two apple cider, which apple cider was again another scent they had last year. This is actually my all-time favorite Miss Meyers scent. It smells so, so good. Like literally it smells like fresh apples. Um, so it's my favorite. So I picked up two of these and then they have two new scents this year. They discontinued the pumpkin scent from last year and they came out with a spiced pumpkin scent this year, but you can only buy it on Grove. It is a Grove exclusive. Um, if you've never used Grove before and you want to try out the spice pumpkin scent last fall, I filmed an entire video on um, basically explaining how Grove works and reviewing Grove. So definitely check out that video because it goes in depth with how Grove works. And honestly, I've been using Grove for a year now and I absolutely love it. Um, so we've got the spiced pumpkin scent, which the packaging looks the exact same as the pumpkin scent from last year. Let's see if it smells the same though. Honestly, yeah, I think it smells like the exact same, but this one's labeled as spiced pumpkin and the old one was just regular pumpkin. So if you liked the pumpkin scent from last year, you can get the spiced pumpkin from Grove. Honestly, it smells, like I said, it smells the exact same to me. Um, they probably just renamed the pumpkin scent and made it a Grove exclusive. Um, but last year you could get the pumpkin scent at like Target and Miss Meyer's website and everything. And then the new scent, the other new scent um, is the Acorn Spice. And this one they do have at Target. Let's smell this one. Ooh, that's nice. That almost has kind of like a Christmassy scent, like smell to it. That's really nice though. It's not super strong. Um, it's not as strong as the other scents. So if you like a subtle scent, um, this is probably good for you. So I got two of these. I did not get any of the hand soaps or dish soaps. I told this story last year, but um, last year I got like Miss Myers everything. I got all the same scents in hand soap, dish soap, and cleaning supplies. And when I was cleaning, um, like there was one day and I was like cleaning with one of the scents, probably like apple cider. Um, and then I went to wash my hands. I washed my hands with an apple cider hand soap. And then I went to cook. And while I was cutting up like veggies or something, I could smell my hands and um, it smelled like the apple cider cleaner. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have cleaner on my hands and I'm cutting up these vegetables. Um, and then I realized it was the hand soap. And so I don't get the hand soaps or the dish soaps in the same sense that I get the cleaning sprays in anymore because of that. Um, I don't like to smell like my cleaning supplies. And I prefer to get the seasonal stuff in the, um, the all-purpose cleaning spray because it makes your house smell really good. Um, and whenever I use Miss Myers, I always get so many compliments on how good my house smells. So that's why I got all of the fall scents in only the, um, the sprays. And these sprays will probably last me like a really long time. They'll probably last me through Christmas and I plan on getting the holiday scents. So I'll probably have a good stock of the fall and the holiday scents, um, definitely through the new year. So that's the Miss Myers and just Grove collaborative stuff I've picked up. And then I also got a couple things from Walmart. The first is this sweet apple candle. This is a really good transitional candle from like summer to fall. It's just a really nice like apple scent. And I actually got two of these. One of them we've already been burning. We started burning in August because like I said, it's a really good transitional um, candle and it's just it smells so so good if you're not one that likes the spicy fall scents this is really good for you and then my walmart just very recently started carrying this brand it's called the candle cottage and so i got one candle an apple pumpkin strudel and uh, this smells so good this smells um I can't remember the name of it, but it smells like a Yankee candle that um, Yankee candle has. And I wish I could remember the name, but, um, and this is a lot cheaper. This is like a little less than $8. It's between like seven or $8. So a lot cheaper than Yankee candle. And these are so, so fragrant. 
Um, and then I also got vanilla pumpkin. And this one is also just a really good, this is like a very classic pumpkin scent, um, pumpkin candle scent. And again, super, super fragrant. Um, they only have one wick. Um, and I usually prefer three wick candles because, I don't know, I just like the three wick candles. Um, but I will definitely be burning these soon. And then just a couple things to make the house smell good. I got the Febreze Air and the Fresh Pressed Apple. I love this. They have a pumpkin one. I'm not a huge fan of the pumpkin one. I don't know why. I just don't like... I, I just don't like the smell of the, the artificial pumpkin. Glade also makes a pumpkin air freshener, and I don't like that one either. But the apple one from Febreze is really good. And then I also haven't tried this um, scent anyways. But I got the Febreze plugins in the apple scent. Um, we used to have the plugins like years and years ago. But when I was pregnant with my two-year-old, um, the scent of the Febreze plugins made me so nauseous. And so I just threw them away and we haven't gotten them again since. So I thought it'd be good to um, just get a couple of these for the house. And to start it off, I got the apple scents and they come with the plugs already. So um, I got two of them. And then once we run out or if the season changes, then we can just get the other plugins. So that is it for this fall haul i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was like a lot of stuff and it was a lot of different stuff but it was all stuff for the home and i'm just so excited to start decorating and um using the candles and the cleaning supplies and all of that so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one which will probably be my decor tour so keep an eye out for that um and yeah see you guys soon thanks for watching